forward in a very open manner to the executive. Today's subject is corruption and accountability. I want to ask you, this is not a closed session, we're not editing anything. I, like millions of other Kenyans, are watching what is transpiring here, live. There is no be editing this and cutting that out and say, everybody's watching what people have to say. I'm actually only disappointed that uh, my friend Gilongo, who is always out there, he is a great opportunity to challenge. I can see Minister Balala. I, oh, everybody is here. Why didn't he come? Why didn't he come and raise those issues that he raises everywhere? Raise it here. Let's debate it. Because the issue is that if people discuss, as I've always said, what the problems are, what they, we get solutions. You don't need to be shouting out there at each other. Come, let's talk. It is in every Kenyan's interest for us to make progress, for us to find solutions. Nobody's leaving this country. Nobody's going anywhere. We're here to stay. Today is the Jubilee administration. My strong prayer, and we shall campaign very hard, is that after August, the Jubilee administration will continue. But even if it doesn't, it will be Kenyans. It will be Kenyans. So let's talk to each other, let's find solutions, let's not beat each other. We have no reason to beat each other. And I want to say, when it comes to this issue of corruption that has been at the center stage of Kenyan public debate, and like I've said, I've been watching, like many are watching, Whose role, who is responsible? And I will say, as president, if there's one issue that has frustrated me, it's this issue. And I'll say why. Because the pressure is on me to do something about corruption. Then I sit back and I ask myself, okay. Show me your administration since independence that has taken action on corruption like I have done. The media goes out there, a lot of issues. Yes, this minister, this permanent secretary. I have removed everybody. Everybody who has ever been named or touched upon starting on by Wakinawako and all these fellows here. Eh? We have a case against so-and-so. I've done my part. At great expense, political also. By asking these people, okay, look, I don't know. Step aside. And they've done it. Then where do we go from there? I'm innocent. And I say, I don't know whether you're innocent or guilty, but this is the case. Move aside. They move aside. I go and I say, okay, look, please, you investigators, everybody, I give you three months, I'm told, uh, to prove innocence or guilt. I'm told, by the way, that pronouncement itself is unconstitutional. You have no power <laughs> to say three months. But yet there's a person there. I don't know their innocence or guilt. But there's a person, a human being, a Kenyan, 
like you and me. We set up a multi-agency so that we can coordinate our affairs. Still no movement. I sit with the Chief Justice. Please, why don't we expedite this? Still no movement. As Justice Kihara, I've just heard him sitting there saying, I wish that there would be a way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Guilty, innocent. If guilty, charged. Nothing. And by the way, I have taken the actions that I can take within the Constitution, respecting the Constitution. When we sit down, and I challenge all the agencies here, they say, oh, we don't have resources, we don't have, we don't do... do Again, that is within my power, giving them all the resources, and I challenge them today to stand up and say that we have been denied resources and that is why we are unable to move. That's not the case. The judiciary. I have even no role. I even actually challenged it and they went because it's themselves. Right? And I was told that the Judicial Service Commission is the one that has the role and they went because when you were when you could defend, they'll give me one name, and my only role is to sign. Who is a judge? Who is the chief justice? Who is, I have no role. But yet I stand accused that the executive is not doing enough. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you want me to do? Eh, Niwaulize. Mr. Young man, I don't know your name, but I've been hearing you talking right now. Irongo. What? Irongo? Yes, Irongo. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? We have, we, 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 we have the Auditor General. Keep saying money was stolen from Eurobond, Eurobond. I did not appoint you. <laughs> All right? I cannot sack you. What is your problem? Sema, kama imeibiwa, sema iliibiwa na uhuru, imeibiwa na nani, imeibiwa na nani, kini kusema, I'm investigating, or oh, we're looking, or oh, report. A lot of nonsense, to tell you the truth. Why can't you just say, if it's the Inspector General, he is, amefanya makosa, he na he, prosecute him. Kama ni uhuru, prosecute me. What's the problem? What have you been denied? Yeah? This is just a political circus. Corruption is just being used as a political circus. How many cases are before the courts of law? Justice. How many cases do you have? Now, do you expect me? What do you want? You want to go and say?